SAP Business Planning and Consolidation. Streamline planning, budgeting, forecasting, and reporting. In this demo, you'll see how the SAP Business Planning and Consolidation application helps you conduct variance and root cause analysis, create a plan for a new product line, and Create management reports using SAP solutions for enterprise performance management and the add-in for Microsoft Office. SAP Business Planning and Consolidation is available in a version for the SAP NetWeaver technology platform and a version for the Microsoft platform, the latter of which is shown in this demonstration. Sam Smith is an executive at International Food Distributors. Today, he wants to review company performance, so he launches the SAP Business Planning and Consolidation application. He clicks on the Sales Overview tab and opens the Consolidated Dashboard, which gives an executive overview of business performance and critical KPIs. Sam clearly sees that the overall net revenue is well below target. He also realizes that Europe, a region that usually generates the most revenue, has experienced a drop in sales over the last two periods, while the other regions have experienced continued growth. Sam is concerned about this revenue dip. So he contacts Ray Carter, a business analyst, who can further investigate the issue. Ray first wants to check the sales revenue data to see if there are any large variances in Q2 for Europe. To do this, he launches the Enterprise Performance Management add-in for Microsoft Office from the SAP Business Planning and Consolidation homepage. Ray selects the planning model which will enable him to create a more thorough analysis of the sales metrics. Here, he launches the Microsoft Excel report which has a variety of formatting options to conduct a variance analysis. Today, he selects a relatively simple format which he can later modify to reflect additional variances. The report Ray now generates will enable him to look at the overall sales revenue by country, product group, time frame, and category. By navigating these dimensions, he should be able to easily identify the root cause for the drop in revenue. Ray then manually inputs the sales revenue into the target field, which helps expedite the process since the software automatically recognizes the dimension and updates the data. To help him more quickly identify the issue, Ray then applies a variance calculation. As you can see, when the report is expanded or collapsed, all calculations are automatically adjusted. In this case, Ray expands the report to show the target values for Q2 so that he can better understand the variance and sees that Great Britain is the only region with a negative variance in that particular quarter. Next, Ray locks in the data for Great Britain for further analysis by clicking on the Keep icon. He now wants to check to see if there is a specific product that is causing the decrease in sales revenue. And quickly sees that the dairy products line in Great Britain, which has a 42% negative variance, is the reason for the decline in sales revenue. He then navigates the product hierarchy list and determines that yogurt sales are the primary reason for the drop and are nowhere near target values. Which might be due to distribution issues or customer dissatisfaction. Ray decides to see if just one month sales have been affected, or if it is part of a larger trend. After seeing that sales were flat for two months, Ray contacts his management team, who then requests that he create a cheese product line. After opening the landing page in SAP Business Planning and Consolidation, he navigates over to Administration and adds a new product group. Ray adds a new line to the master data and processes the dimensions so that the information is available to the planning team. He then returns to the SAP Business Planning and Consolidation web client and builds a simple input schedule so that targets for cheese can be created and targets for yogurt can be lowered. So now, Ray adjusts the targets for both product lines in Great Britain for the months of July through September. Since the targets have been updated for Q3, Ray decides to create a PowerPoint slide and connects to the sales planning model in the business planning and consolidation application using the SAP Enterprise Performance Management add-in for Microsoft Office. 
Here, he adjusts the context values to make sure that the right information is being displayed in the PowerPoint table. The context values automatically default from the actual values for Q2 to those of Q3. Next, Ray builds a simple report that will be rendered in PowerPoint. In a few quick moves, he selects the various values. Once he is finished, Ray is able to update the report with just one click. He then manually adjusts the slide so it contains information for the sales revenue target for Q3. Ray is now ready to share the report, which is presented in an easy-to-read format with Sam and the rest of the management team. As you have seen, the SAP Business Planning and Consolidation Application version for Microsoft helps you conduct variance and root cause analysis, create a plan for a new product line, and create management reports using SAP solutions for enterprise performance management and the add-in for Microsoft Office.